All right, Brian and Brevin back once again. Uh, we, uh, as you see on the screen here, um, we got a collection of 2021 playoff football to open, and we're super excited because we just opened our first box ever of contenders. It was 2021 contenders football. Very expensive box. I think I said it was 675 bucks with tax. That's a lot of dough. I don't care who you are. And, you know, uh, as, as the purchaser, I was concerned it was going to be a massive bust. Um, you know, we didn't know exactly what we were getting into. We're kind of new to football collecting. It's a, it's a thing Brevin's into, not something I've done historically as a, you know, I've been a, just a baseball collector historically, but Brevin's got me into football. Anyway, we opened a Trey Lance rookie. It's sitting in here with these packs. Uh, we were excited to open it, obviously, um, but didn't appreciate kind of its, its value. Um, you know, we're, we're in Northern California, so we absolutely know who Trey Lance is. We know he's a big rookie. We know he's likely to take over for Jimmy G, uh, next year for the 49ers if things kind of go as, as, as planned, it looks like. Um, but, uh, what we didn't know is that card's probably, uh, worth a thousand or more dollars. So, uh, you know, someone who paid for the box, um, you know, very excited. I, I think I've mentioned on this channel before. It's oftentimes you don't get value out of your out of your uh, box, and um, you know I know that as a father, um, and my son even knows that I'm teaching him that you're kind of playing uh, the lottery when you buy boxes, but it's it's fun. We have a ton of fun as you see on the channel opening boxes together. That's what it's about for me. But it is nice on occasion to hit something big, and uh, you see Trey sitting in there uh, with these playoff playoff packs and boxes right now. So that's a that's a like, super exciting card. Again, it's an on card autograph rookie ticket contenders. Um, uh, Trey Lance and uh, yeah, very very excited to have that. We'll just throw that right in Brevin's collection. You know, we don't really sell anything. Uh, we're collectors first. Um, you know, I'm sure you know over time we'll sell stuff and maybe as we as we get older or whatnot. But it's you know when you're a collector, it's hard to it's hard to let go of things, hard to sell. So uh, yeah, no plans on putting that up on uh, any uh, for sale at all. We're gonna keep it um, in Brevin's collection and something to show off to our buddies uh, when they come over. So what, we're, what we are going to open today now is uh, a bunch of playoff football, and we got um, we got different uh, ver different variety here. So we've got two of these uh, I call them fat packs. Okay, what do we got here? It says forty cards. They call them value packs, I guess. Value pack, fat pack, whatever. Uh, there's <laughs> I call them fat packs because there's forty cards in one pack. These sell you know individually. Uh, Brevin, I, I took Brevin to his first ever card show here in the Sacramento area uh, yesterday. I didn't even know what to expect. It had been, gosh, maybe 20 years, no, 25 years probably since I've even been to a card show. Um, so I didn't know what to expect. Anyway, it was it was fun. It was super, uh, super busy, probably, I don't know, 70 to 100 tables. We didn't count them exactly. And, and frankly, um, pretty overwhelming for, you know, uh, Brevin and I are pretty... Uh, pretty specific, particular, uh, you know, personalities. And so you're in a room with all those cards and different things at different tables. Um, it's hard to know kind of where to focus, where to look. You know, Brevin, again, is into opening packs and boxes. So we focused there for him. And we came away with some of the stuff you see on the screen here. Uh, didn't buy, we did not buy any individual cards. Although I was explaining to Brevin that what's really fun if you have the time is to go through some of those, you know, what they're, they're called sh shoe boxes, I guess. Um, just full of singles and, you know, they're called, you know, people say, uh, you know, dollar a card in the box or maybe 10 for five bucks. If you finger through there, um, you're going to find some things you want and at uh, really good, you know, cheap, cheap prices at a dollar or less. There's even 50 cent boxes. I saw somebody had, a, had, I think, five cent boxes, which I didn't even thumb through. But my guess is, you know, very, very basic base cards. But, you know, if you're set building um, or set collecting and you need, you know, 25 more cards for your set. You might find it in those boxes, which is pretty cool. So maybe next time we'll spend more more time thumbing through some boxes. Uh, maybe it's more my cup of tea than Brev's. But um, nonetheless, we found, uh, yeah, these two fat packs um, as well as the two blasters uh, you see here at the uh, at the card show. Um, so this one's, yeah, 40 cards, 40 cards per pack. Look for exclusive blue insert parallels. I told Brev when we bought these packs, you know, don't expect more than that, really. I think if you get any other hits, it's a real win. Um, what these packs are good for is to get a bunch of base cards to, to build your set. You know, Brevin does like collecting sets, complete sets. And these, these two fat packs will probably help us get there uh, for him. Um, so anyway, we've got two of these. Okay. Two blasters. These are the same. I'll move one off screen, but 
two blasters. What's cool about these blasters is there's 56 cards per box, but look at this. One autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. That's pretty rare for blaster boxes to have, you know, one auto or memorabilia card. Usually there's no, you know, promises of, of either of those. Um, obviously hoping we get an autograph and not a memorabilia card um, because we're just more interested in that. But, um, but who knows? So this will be... This will be fun to see. Anything else on here? Um, let's see, 300 card set, 200 base cards, 100 rookies. So we should get a lot of rookies too. There you go, eight, eight cards per pack, seven cards. Oh, eight cards per pack and seven cards per pack. That's funny. That must be a misprint on the Panini's part. It's obviously eight cards per pack, seven cards per box or, or vice versa to get to 56 total. Kind of funny they messed that up. Yeah. Um, unwrap one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. Find three kickoff parallels per box on average. And then look for stunning die cuts in Thunder and Lightning, Rookie Wave, and more. So I know this product does have, we opened some playoff um, football for 2020, last year's version. So we do know there is some uh, some chrome looking cards uh, to go, you know, for the insert sets to go with the paper. And I believe that's these Thunder and Lightnings and Rookie Waves. We got a Tua rookie wave pink last year. Yeah, it cost like uh, $30, no, $50, I think. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember, but it's still in, Brev's, dollars, still in Brev's collection. Um, so here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna open one blaster and both fat packs. Brevin's gonna open the other blaster. Oh, and this guy. Brevin's gonna open the uh, blaster and this guy. This is a hobby box, which we did not buy at the card show. We got this firsthand from Panini. Dad here's got quick fingers when they go. When they go on sale, no, it's not. It's not first off the line. Um, I'm not sure if they did a first off the line for playoff. Um, but uh, anyway, we yeah, got this hobby box. This will be the most exciting things. So we'll let Brevin do it. See the top there, two autographs and not or and one memorabilia card per box on average. That's exciting. Anything else here? Look for hobby exclusive contenders rookie ticket preview. I can't read the other word because the because of the wrapping here, but preview green autographs. So these are like the contenders Trey Lance, but uh, a preview version that's in the playoff product. This product released uh, released before contenders did. Okay, there's a bunch of insert possibilities there. I'm not going to bore you with all that fine print. Um, new find one base or rookie plus insert per box on average. Not quite sure how to interpret that, but uh, okay, we'll look for it. <laughs> I'm going to look for it. Um, so there you have it. So we're going to go from least exciting to most exciting, but you never know what we're getting any of these things. So I'll, I'll start here. This is Brian. I'll start with the two fat packs and one blaster. All right. So here's, oh, Brevin wants some good luck. Okay. Let's get some good luck. Let me see. Let's go. Let's go with Trey Lance. Let's go with Trey Lance. We used Khalil Mack on the contenders. He worked. Now our lucky Trey Lance. There we go. Come on. Come on, Trey. I like Trey Lance more than ever now. More than ever. <laughs> Don't like that right. the Niners when she was on the Raiders, but still. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this monster open. 40 card pack. Pretty wild. Okay, there's a rookie wave on the back. Trying not to look. Woo, it's a lot of cards. Fat pack, like I said. Okay. Gonna be a lot of base cards here, folks, but again, we're excited to build our set with this. Okay, Drew Locke. Brevin's probably not gonna be able to sleeve as fast as I no. look at these, which is okay. Just keep, do your best, Brev. Yeah. Tyler Boyd. Henry Ruggs III. <laughs> you know, they won't be printing him next year, I'm sure. He's in he's in jail, as everybody knows. Um, and, and, you know, it's a sad story. I think most people know it, so I won't repeat it, but... Uh, you know, it takes a while to to to, uh, to make these sets, design these sets, and then print them, and then market them, and get them out. Especially uh, with supply chain issues during COVID, so that's the reason you're still seeing you know Henry Ruggs in these in these sets. But um, yeah, he, I'm sure they won't be making him next year. T.J. Watt, Tremaine Edmonds, D.J. Chark Jr. I always want to say shark when I see that name. <laughs> that should be his nickname. Chris Herndon the fourth. That's a lot of Chris Herndons. Melvin Gordon the third. 
Now the third is a little more common. <laughs> um, you don't see too many fourths. That's crazy. Jesse Bates the third. Okay, we're on a we're on a string here of uh, thirds and fourths. And kind of continuing the theme, Michael Pittman Jr., which would make him the second. Here we go. Here's a guy with a unique first unique name, Stefan Gilmore. Chris Johnson. Okay, so that's he's retired, obviously. So they got some retired guys in here too. Burrow. Not mad at that. Carr. Yeah, like Burrow. Not mad at that either. Claypool. Now we're on a not mad at streak. <laughs> not mad at Claypool. All right, upside down again. Flippy. Flippy, flippy. Devin White. You know what that C means, bro, on his jersey? Uh, oh, Captain. Yep, Captain. If it, like, Tom Brady had, like, a full gold C, because he was a... Uh, yeah, they like, put star, They start putting stars next to him if they're repeat captains, I believe. There's a lot, actually, a lot, football teams have lots of captains. Isn't it repeat captains or just, like, like full captains, like... I think it's repeat. Dead like I've been, I've been captain for four years or whatever. I think I could be wrong. Add that to the comments down below, folks, on the video if you know how they determine how many stars you have next to your your captain patch on your jersey. Okay, Jared Goff. Hey, on on the Lions. Jimmy G. GG. Love you, Jimmy, but uh, like Trey Lance a little bit more right about now. <laughs> Justin Jefferson, great receiver for the Vikings. The gritty. Michael Gallup. Luke Keekley or Keekley. Keekley. Retired. Retired. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer yet, but should be eventually yeah. once he's been retired five years. He's really good. This is somebody I should go hunt down for his rookie card. Maybe I'll do that. Terry McLaurin. DeAndre Hopkins. Upside down again. This looks like old school. Steve Largent. Wide receiver, Seahawks. Revan said this is CMC, Christian McCaffrey. Another guy with the captain logo. Does he have multiple stars? I think so. Maybe. Sure. It's hard to see. Small photo. Miles Sanders. He gets three stars. Three or four stars. Okay. Ronald Jones, the second. He at least hit that. Ooh, Erlocker. Ryan. Ryan Erlocker. Big fan. Your name. Exactly. Well, that's one reason I'm a big fan. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey, Adam Thielen. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're into the rookie card section now. See the logo down here? Rookie card section. Tutu Atwell. We said before we got a lot of Tutu Atwell rookie cards this year. We were a lot of Tutus also. He was hurt all season, so hopefully he, you know, gets healthy and uh, makes something of himself there in the NFL. We'll have a nice collection of rookie cards if so. Flippy, All right, Cornell Powell. Rookie card. Demetric Felton, rookie card. Tyson Campbell, rookie card. Devontae Williams, rookie card. Okay, here's something different. I think that the, these cards get better and better as we move back. Here's Wait, a. That, are these um, inserts or just like. Uh, no, the rookie cards are. They're, they're still base cards. Um, uh, here is some green font. If you see that in there, uh, Whitney Merciless. Kickoff. And it says kickoff up here. So this will be the kickoff insert. Let's look for serial numbers. I'm guessing not. No. I don't see any. But it's, then, anyway. it's per box on average, remember? Yeah. These are the kickoffs. Okay, Tyrell Williams kickoff. This is insert. Brevin Jordan. Yeah. We got a Brian Erlocker and a Brevin Jordan. What are the odds of a Brevin? We don't meet, we've never met another Brevin in person. Bre Brevin's named after uh, Brevin Knight, point guard for Stanford when I was, uh, when I was younger. Uh, made, you know, had a good NF uh, NFL, had a good NBA career too, lots of assists. Anyway, I always loved the name and uh, named Brevin after Brevin Knight. So anyway, it's a rare name. You don't run into many Brevins. Brevin Knight made it to the NBA? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Brevin Knight had a lot of assists. He's a true point guard. Okay, he's a, this guy's a tight end for the Texans. I can tell it wasn't as good as John Stockton, though. No, not many people were as good as John Stockton. <laughs> okay, here we go to these Chromium cards. You can see the shine now. See my face back there in the reflection. Uh, behind the numbers, Devontae Smith rookie card insert. Ooh. Sweet. Ooh, that's nice. 
and a rookie wave Javante Williams. Is this blue? Maybe just a regular rookie wave. I don't see any serial numbers here. Yeah, but cool. Yes. The, you know, Chrome cards are always just so sweet. So sweet. Of course, you pay more for them when that's, you know, when all the cards in a set are Chrome. That's not the case here with the playoff. It's mostly paper, but these Chrome cards are sweet. All right. That was Fat Pack number one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we need to get more space there. Okay, Fat Pack. Numero dos. Come on, baby. Uh, I can't help myself. I think I see it, but it looks like a DJ Church Junior. Well, you'll be surprised because it's not. <laughs> oh, I, I, it's okay. I saw, it's, I saw I know. Junior. I know. Chark is not a rookie, so it's not him. Oh. Um, oh yeah, so we're in our base veterans here: Laviska Chenault Junior. Quinn and Williams. Von Miller, Broncos instead of the Rams. Again, these went to print probably well before he was traded to the Rams. Chad Johnson, okay. Ocho Cinco, I see you. Chad. Marcus Allen, there we go. That's sweet, bro. Yep. Raider. I wonder if they got Bo Jackson in here too. Raider. Randy Moss, the boss. Patriots. Patriots, Randy Moss. Yeah, they could have put him on a number of teams in that photo. I saw that card when we were watching it in the card deck. Drew Locke, it's a dupe. Tyler Boyd, dupe. Uh-oh, we're in the dupe section now. Yeah, you, you get a lot Brevin's, of dupes. Brevin's friends, pay attention. This is the stuff you might get. <laughs> Henry Ruggs. They're in the same order, even. This is the order of the first pack, right? TJ Watt. Yeah, it's, that's what happens. Wow, Tremaine Edmonds. Wow, it's going to be all dupes, you guys. DJ Chark. Herndon the fourth. Watch, it's going to be a third next. The third. Another third. Yep. And then it comes a junior. Oh, no. It is. They switched it up now. Okay. Good. This is this is uh, not a dupe here. Patrick Peterson. Daniel Jones. Whoa, what's that? Trey Quan Smith. Oh, Trey Quan. It's a fancy name. Okay. Chase Young. Isaiah Simmons, Aaron Rodgers, Montana, okay. JoJo. Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. This guy was just in the news. I want to say for bad reasons. Even though... I can't remember that. Even though I don't like... Oh, yeah, I do remember. Hold on. Sorry about this guy. It's fine, it's fine. This guy got caught betting on football. This guy, Calvin Ridley, that was the news. He was injured and and was betting on some games and they caught him. So I think he's suspended a year. I mean, all this is off the top of my head, you guys. I'm not looking at news stories on the side screen or anything. Um, Wait, who did that in baseball? It was like Pete Rose. Pete Rose, a long yeah. time ago, yeah. But yeah, betting on a sport that you play in is big time no-no. But yeah, what I was saying is, although I do not like the Niners, I do like Joe Montana. Yeah, hard not to like Montana. Yeah. Kyler Murray. TJ Hawkinson, George Kittle, good number 49ers in here. Harrison Smith, Emmett Smith, one of the best ever, Emmett Smith. He holds a record. Lots of records. Michael Thomas, Antonio Gibson. All right, rookie section now. Again, rookie card logo. Rashad Bateman, here's where we want something, something good. Andre Cisco, love the name, but sorry, Cisco, not super excited about your card. Nico Collins, Greg Newsom, the second cornerback. Okay, here we go. If you're gonna get a base rookie card, why not get one of Mac Jones? Yep, that's good. Okay, now we're in those green kickoffs. Uh, Travis Kelsey. Ooh, kickoff Montana. Nice. Talking about him. And a kickoff rookie card. Amon Ross St. Brown. That is a name. Amon Ross St. Brown. Amon Ross St. Brown. That's, yeah, Amon Ross makes me think of like an Egyptian king. It makes me want to eat Egyptian, Egyptian god. Um, and then St. Brown. Yeah, this, that's a fun name. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure this is just a basic uh, insert, but that is cool. Two exciting rookies on the same team. Thunder and Lightning, Travis Etienne Jr. And Trevor Lawrence. Two. Yeah, no, no serial number there. That's cool, though. And we'll add to it. Oh, Etienne. Junior. Yeah, this is what you saw in the bag. You thought it was a Chark Jr. It's a Travis Etienne Jr. Rookie Wave. And no serial number. So those are the fat packs. As you saw, tons of base cards. Like I said, it, you know, other than those duplicates we got, that puts Brevin in a good position to start building the uh, the full set. Plus, we got a fun, uh, we got a Mac Jones rookie in there. We got that uh, Amon Ross, Saint, was it St. Brown? Um uh, green rookie, uh, uh, yeah. green kickoff insert. Yeah, um, what am I gonna do? Like, where, where am I gonna put the cards? Just put them on the side. Okay. Yeah, okay. Going into my blaster, which I, again, a blaster has I'll point with the scissors here <laughs> one autograph or memorabilia card. Rooting for an auto. Here we go. On box bridge, or could box bridge. Cookie. Where's our Trey Lance? Yeah, that's Come on, Trey. Okay, you 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 resulted. You got us some Montana, some some uh, some Forty Nine er Mojo, and those fat packs. Want some autograph Mojo in here? All right, here we go, pack number one. And there's seven, looks like there's seven packs, eight cards per pack. Remember the blaster box had a typo in there. Okay, hopefully I don't get many dupes. Braden Cooks, Miles Gaskin, Josh Allen, Chris Carson, Jair Alexander, Jesse, Jesse Tuggle. We know a Tuggle family. Yeah, Levi Tuggle. Rookie card, Chris Evans. Ooh, okay, we got some Chrome action. Ooh, call to arms, Patty Mahomes, the second. And it's a prism, if that means anything. We'll have to look that up. Kid reporter, take it. <laughs> oh yeah, we watched a video recently. Some guy was posting, they say, you know, he put it on screen, kid reporter, take it. And I guess, I suppose if you steal that access code down there at the bottom, here, uh, you can use this. So we don't use them. Nope. So feel free. I saw something on the back there, Brev. Did yeah. you see that? No. Okay, good you're going to be excited. Lamar Jackson. Good thing I didn't see it. Tyreek Hill. Two good veterans. Jarvis Landry. George Beats. Jalen Rager. Chris Godwin. David Montgomery. Rookie card, Peyton Turner. And our insert is... Behind the numbers, yes. Darren Waller, one of Brevin's favorite players. Is right now. Your very favorite player? Right now. Yeah. Yep. And he's got a good story where he was not such a good guy um, for himself. He didn't treat his body well when he was a younger man, and he turned it around. My yeah. favorite player on the, like, in, not of all time, but playing right now, who has the best personality, in my opinion, would be Josh Jacobs. Of my favorite players. Josh Jacobs, Raiders running back? Yeah. yeah. Because he, his dad was homeless, I think. And then he bought a house for his dad once he made it to Was it him? NFL. I think he bought his mom. I think he bought his mom a house. Yeah. But he was, he just has a great personality. I really like him. Yeah, I think there's an E60 or something about him that we need to go try and watch. Is it 30 for 30 I think he's a good, E60? one of those, yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a, he, I have heard he's a good dude. Yeah, nice. Okay, Mike Williams. This is pack number three. Whitney 
I hope that's merciless. Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong, but even if, I, if, my, if that was my last name, I would say it's merciless, especially as a linebacker. Merciless when I tackle you. Dan Where's Marino, Uncle Uncle. Hall of Fame. Cam Akers, running back on the uh, Rams. Brett Favre, obviously Hall of Fame. Ezekiel Elliott, did not have a good year. Um, rookie card, upside down. Ramondre Stevenson, running back, Patriots. And, okay, we are inserts a kickoff here. Kickoff Chris Johnson. No serial number. Here's another kid reporter. Anybody want to find out what this... I don't even know what this thing is, to be oh, honest. It's, um, can I have this real fast? Yeah, is that the Super Bowl we just had, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they made this product too late because this is after the Super Bowl. So anyway, it might be too late for all this, but if anybody wants to try this out, let me know. <laughs> let me know what comes of it. Put it down, write, write it down there in the comments. All right, four packs to go before I hand this chair over to Brev. Yes! <laughs> Ryan Tannehill. There's some Raider. Here we go. Max, yep. Max Crosby. We just signed him for four more years. Happy about that. He was a, um, Jerome Bettis, the bus. The bus. This guy was fun to watch. But did, Max, Cros Max Crosby was in jail, I feel like. Max so Crosby? Yeah. He's he looks like he would be in jail. <laughs> You're judging a book by the, by the cover. He has lots <laughs> Sorry, of tattoos. Max Crosby. Well, I, I, do, I do think he may have done a jail stint. Um, like, I don't want to I don't want to misspeak, but I think he did. Yeah. Evan Ingram. But yeah, yeah. Drew Brees. We like Max Crosby. Yeah, you don't want Max Crosby just running in here trying to tackle us. Right? Allen Robinson the second. Just call him Junior. <laughs> oh, this is this is a name. Hamsa Nazir Okay. Sorry. Kick off. Um, Kyler Murray. No, nothing serial numbered yet. But okay, we got a little kickoff collection going with the we got six in those fat packs, and then we got two more in this blaster so far. Have we found a memorabilia or an autograph? I just, I just realized. No. We've not. Come on, baby. Be an auto. Let's go, Trey. Devontae Parker. CJ Henderson. Joe Namath. Okay. Cooper Cup. Cuppy. Aaron Jones. DK. Look at his arm. This dude is this dude's like zero body fat. He's like kind of famous for that. And it shows. <laughs> he's probably the not the strongest man, but I mean like... He's the leanest would be the way to describe it. The leanest. Yeah, the person has the least amount of body fat. Quitty, Quitty Pay. That's a cool name too. What? Oh, here we go. I was going to say. Oh, I have to do it again. I got to pronounce it again. Hamsa Nazar Ladin. Rookie card kickoff. Wait, did we get a kickoff with him? Not serial numbered. No, I just opened a base of oh, him okay. and I, I had trouble pronouncing his name. Okay, kid reporter. Take it. <laughs> Another shot at it. Again, Useless. tell us what this is. Useless, most likely. Oh, this one feels thick. This one feels thick, guys. Save it for just last. In my hand. Should I? Uh, last? Yeah, last. Feels thick, which might mean memorabilia. This one kind of feels thick too, but I, feel, I think this one's air. Yeah. yeah. More air in this one. Could be wrong. We'll see. Still expecting auto or a memorabilia. Hopefully. We can look at the side here. I don't see any thick cards. Okay. David Johnson. Xavier Howard. Joe Mixon. Oh. <laughs> Not Burrow. Mixon. And then I thought you were going to say Nina. Oh. Darnell Mooney. Now like a little bit. Matt Ryan. Darius Slayton. Not a lot of repeats, bro. This is good for your set. Yeah. Here we go. Asante Samuel Jr. Rookie card. Remember when his dad played for the Patriots. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Who's that, Trey? No, it's not Trey. No rookies, but it's another 40. We've had a lot of 49ers oh, today. Brandon Ayuk. And George Kittle. Yeah. That's cool. Like, these are cool looking cards. Again, Chrome. Kid Reporter, take it. Kid Reporter.
All right, so I thought, I thought this last pack, this is the last one. I saved it. I thought it was a little thicker, which usually means a memorabilia card. We'll find out. Okay, Patrick Mahomes, base. OBJ. Keenan Allen. Hopefully we get a memorabilia. Russell Gage. Looks like it's a memorabilia. Jalen Hurts. I did not see which player was. I'll, I'll turn it sideways. See how thick that last card is, everybody? Hopefully, it's a trailer. <laughs> Trying to focus that in. Anyway, that last card is really thick. Considering Mike Evans. How much money Trey Lance is right now? Who's well, a good rookie? Jalen Waddle. Waddle, baby, Waddle. All right. Waddle. And let's see what this thing is here. Should I move this down slowly? Here, let's look at the side. It's this way, huh? Rookie. What's that say? Rookie Stallions. Rookie. Bears. Oh. There's a jersey. Justin Fields. Oh. Hey now. That's nice. Yeah. Things could Ooh. be, you know, life could be worse, you guys. <laughs> we haven't got many Justin Fields cards in no. our in everything we've opened for twenty one. So I kinda of forgot about him. We can't we can't get this. Yeah, I'll go get the I'll get the thick sleeves in a sec. Okay. Justin Fields. Anyway, that's cool. Good way to wrap uh, round it out. All right, this is it for, for Brian. Uh, we got one more blaster and a hobby box to go. And I'm going to pass the seat over to Brev.